we'll move on to the topic one uh, that is career development and path when we look at career development and path like uh, within the same organization or within the same field what are the different kind of you know stages in which uh, you know person's career is progressing that's what exactly career development and path is all about so if you look at the definition of a career path or a career plateau it's nothing but uh, it's nothing but a line of advancement in occupational field within an organization that means when an individual joins in one particular job in our organization how he moves and how we actually progress to a next level next stages and what are the different kind of stages in which you know he goes through that's what exactly you know career uh, path is all about and in a career plateau or a career path if you look into it uh, where the situation can arise where either organizational or a personal reasons that might be you know a prohibiting or probably that might be the roadblock for moving up the career uh, you know ladder so that's a way if you look into it actually you know either an organization because of the politics or because of the personal reasons individual you know he might be keep uh, changing from one particular job uh, to another kind of a job because of that reasons actually you know his career development might be get uh, you know affected but otherwise generally any person who ever joins in any organization normal course of time actually you know the career progression happens it's a you know inevitable thing so that's a way if you look into it how a person who ever joins a job looks for a career and then you know grows along with the company and grows along with the market and then based on his kind of you know learning and development in order to become a successful kind of an you know career uh, you know uh, career in your own field every individual has to put in a lot of effort he need to learn he need to upgrade his skills he need to keep learning and you know uh, earn more number of educational qualification these are the ways actually you know we can look in for an more kind of an you know career development and other way of looking at it actually the skill development how do we sharpen our skills how do we try to you know probably come out with the new kind of a skills every time and because of our showcasing our skills we can able to you know move to the next uh, kind of an you know uh, cadre now let's try to look at uh, the career development for a professional staff uh, it's nothing but as we already discussed it's nothing but a sequence of you know jobs for a management and a professional take an example if you look at this particular diagram uh, it's quite evident where rank and earnings that means when we talk about rank i'm talking about and kind of you know job rank and uh, when he joins in the first year we get into job 1 let's say it could be an you know uh, entry level job and over a period of time you know because of his learning and experience he move on to the next rank or a job 2 and uh, similar way over the years he gets into you know job 2 job 3 job 4 and job 5 like this you know his earnings as earnings also increases as well as his job responsibilities also been adding on so that's a way actually you know one's career has been determined and uh, what is the benefit of an you know probably career development uh, ultimate benefit of a career development is individual develops he learns many things by taking up and taking up on ownership of various other accountability and other kind of a thing actually even for an organization also it is highly beneficial because uh, uh, one individual joins and then he understand the cons- uh, organization processes and he try to you know probably fill the more responsible kind of a position ultimately we could able to you know probably shift uh and look for a new kind of an you know what you call it as uh, roles and uh, new new kind of an you know development happens within the job area because with, with the same or you know person who who knows about the organization culture and who also understand and then learn the job new he could able to you know exercise lot of creativity that's a way actually you know uh, same individual if he grows in the same organization he can contribute better than a person who is actually joined newly this is the way actually you know we can look into it and uh, ultimate uh, goal of this particular career development uh, for a professional staff is to you know make sure that how we can utilize the best of the skills and the talent for all the you know stakeholders ultimately how an organization can be get benefited out of it that's what is uh, all about now let's try to look at it career development uh, program uh, both from the organization requirement as well as from the individual that is professional requirement what way it will provide you a kind of an you know benefit from the organization requirement why they look for an you know career development it is basically they wants to you know fill different levels of you know uh, roles has to be filled with the staff 
say for example like uh, one person joins as an uh, you know production executive how long you know probably the organization or the individual will be keep on doing the same kind of a job there will be some you know higher level positions or higher level ranking there might be an opening or people might be you know they might look for an efficient kind of a you know skill set and the same executive who are join as a production executive who might be you know eligible to become a senior product uh, pro production executive or it could be an assistant manager level where he could able to you know exercise his skills very well so that's a way actually you know to fill the staff uh, for an organization requirement career development will help you out and the second thing is actually you know development happens when we talk about development it's all about enhancing the skills and ultimately by enhancing the skills by learning and doing and practicing same job again and again the employee applies a lot of creativity and by applying a, you know creativity into the job ultimately you know he add adds value to the entire organizational processes so when he adds value to the entire organizational processes organization also you know learns something new and the new kind of a process emerge because of that particular individual so such kind of you know development happens because of the development you know this career development uh, will be more useful and the next one is the leveling of when we talk about leveling of uh, you know we need to have a right kind of a mixture of both you know junior and middle level middle level management as well as top level management and we need to have all the roles all the positions has to be you know properly filled based on the kind of an you know uh, uh, task is involved so that's a way to level up the numbers and level up the kind of an you know different positions and uh, you know different positions this particular uh, leveling of uh, by you know providing a career development will help you out and other thing is like restaffing when you talk about restaffing let's say you know person who are at the uh, middle management level leaves the organization and goes or he get retires and then goes in order to you know probably fill that particular post instead of looking out for a talent somewhere outside from the external source we can consider our own internal source uh, to you know probably elevate them to the next level that's the way organization will think about it and uh, even at the individual level if you look into it uh, there are a lot of requirement uh, when we talk about individual level i'm talking about you know in uh, Yes, when one once the individual joins the job, how we can actually make the career and then develop in the same profession and in the same organization, and he might look for a more more and more responsible kind of a positions. So that's a way for a job choice. Uh, this internally, you know, you have an opportunity available. And the second thing is like, uh, you know, the individual might be having lot of talents. He might be very good at people skills. He might be very good at leadership skills. And uh, to make the contribution of individual uh, towards the organization development, uh, you know, the individual uh, need can be, you know, career development can be one of the major kind of a thing. And other thing is actually, you know, by working in the same organization for a quite long time, the individual learns what is the organization goal as well as his individual goals he fit exactly into the organizational processes and organizational environment that will make him actually you know contribute better for the organizational uh, processes and ultimately it's all about his own learning curve what you call the experience curve and uh, using his experiences he can able to you know contribute better to the entire overall job so that's a way actually you know if you look into it uh, career development is matching individual as well as an organization need that's a way actually it is a win-win kind of an you know proposition and now let's try to look at uh, what are the kind of you know favorable conditions uh, which will make the uh, entire career development very very uh, successful uh, actually you know in order to develop that particular career development every hr department the top management as well as hr department has to sit together and they need to lay a kind of you know career uh, growth path so how the management participation and the top management support for individual to grow from a junior level to you know senior level so that commitment has to be there and ultimately it's all about the collaboration between the managers and hr managers and uh, train the managerial personnel whoever has got a right kind of a talent hr department has to identify them and then train them for a better kind of a managerial position these are the ways actually you know uh, it will be a very favorable conditions for the career development and second thing is actually setting a goal 
how a goal setting exercises can be conducted at each individual employee level and what is the way they plan the human resource strategy as to which are the kind of you know employees has to be you know uh, moved on to the next phase so by uh, doing a performance appraisal they will come to a kind of you know conclusions and that's a way actually they need to work out a goal for every employee so that individually employee also develops as well as the organization develops and the other thing is like the changing hr policies when we talk about changing hr policies how do we try to you know probably provide them a better kind of an you know training and uh, one of the kind of a training method is your job rotation and the job rotation is nothing but uh, how you know as soon as an employee joins or at the middle of this uh, career he has been put on on various kind of a job to test which area he could able to you know do better job what are the kind of an you know uh, profiles his skill levels are ex you know expressed or probably exhibited more so that has, that can be analyzed and based on that you know the individual can be given an opportunity in different different job areas and ultimately it's all about you know providing an outplacement services by providing an outplacement services we are encouraging the employee to you know probably grow both economically socially as well as at the professional areas so these are the ways actually you know the, the conditions which is very very favorable and other than that you know you can come out with an you know program what you call as your career development program uh, you can explain the philosophy as to you know what exactly uh, uh, the career uh, growth opportunities are possible so when an employee joins the organization itself you can actually explain the entire career uh, path to them that will act as a kind of you know motivational factor based on that you know the entire career development can be done